In this video, we will discuss the stages of biofilm formation. We're going to discuss what are the different stages of biofilm formation, including the stage of attachment, monolayer formation, and mature biofilm formation. In this video, we will focus on bacterial biofilm formation. And finally, we will discuss the stage of dispersion. I hope this video is going to help you to understand the biofilm formation, especially by bacterial cells. If you are new to the channel, then please do subscribe to the channel. And if you like the content, please hit the like button. In this video, we will discuss the stages of biofilm formation. We'll discuss the stage of attachment, which includes reversible attachment as well as the irreversible attachment. After that, microcolony formation and then the mature biofilm stage. Immediately after the mature biofilm stage, we'll discuss the process of dispersion. I hope this video is going to help you to understand the process of biofilm formation. Let's start the discussion of biofilm formation. In the first stage, what will happen? The bacterial cell will try to attach to a solid surface. And that stage is the attachment stage. So here you're seeing bacteria is getting attached to the surface. And the attachment is reversible. In this case, initially it is reversible. So this I can say it is the first stage, which is the attachment and the stage where you have cells reversibly attached to the surface. And then you have second stage where the cell will firmly, or I would say, will tightly attach to the surface. And this stage is the irreversible stage where cell no longer able to detach from the surface. And this is the, again, this is the part of the attachment stage. So you have two different uh, stages in the attachment stage, two different sub stages. Next, you will have the formation of monolayer or it's also known as microcolony formation. And then they will develop into macrocolonies. So it will be micro as well as the macrocolony formation where cells will divide and then they will constitute the colonies on that solid surface. After that, you will have the maturation where three dimensional colonies, they will appear on the surface and as you can see here, cells are inside these three dimensional colonies and they will constitute a mature biofilm. So this stage is called as the maturation stage. After that, you will have the stage of dispersion where the cells, they will detach and they, then they will again start the process of attachment and form the new uh, biofilm. So as you can see here, this stage is the maturation or it's also known as mature biofilm. And stage that is previous to that, that is the micro or the macro colony formation. So you have different, different stages. That includes the formation of biofilm by specifically by bacterial cell. Let's summarize the video. In this video, we have discussed different stages of biofilm formation. We have discussed the stage of reversible attachment. We have discussed the stage of irreversible attachment. After that, we discussed the microcolony formation stage and then the three dimensional mature biofilm stage. We have also discussed the stage of dispersion where bacteria gets detached from the biofilm and restart the process of biofilm formation. I hope this video is going to help you to understand the stages of biofilm formation. I hope the video was helpful for you to understand the concept of biofilm formation. In this video, we have discussed the stage of cell attachment where we discuss the reversible as well as the irreversible st attachment stage. We have also discussed the stage of monolayer formation as well as macro or microcolony formation stage. Further, we discussed the stage of dispersion. I hope this video is going to help you to understand the stages of biofilm formation, especially by bacterial cells. Thank you for watching the video. And if you like the video, then please 
do hit the like button